Well, hello, good people. Today, we're going to take a look at a new platform called Leonardo AI. A little bit later, we'll go over how to sign up and use this platform. I'm doing something a little different. This is my first time really going through this platform other than like eight images that I generated. Let's walk through a few things first. At the top here, you see we have some featured models. These are built-in models on the platform that you can use for your text image generation. Here we have the trending page and you see that uh, there's been some amazing, amazing work being done already. Look at this. This looks awesome. If you click on it, you see the artwork, the negative prompts that were used, settings, pretty typical stuff. But yeah, some of this stuff is really amazing. On the left here, you have a community feed and also a personal feed, which I don't have at the moment. This we're going to touch on in a second, but you can create your own data sets. And I'm excited to try this out because this is something that I've been looking for in something like Playground AI, for example. And then you have fine-tuned models here at the left. Again, these are models that are already included on the platform. There's AI Canvas, which I'm assuming is outpainting. I haven't tried it yet, but if this works well, wow, that's a game changer. And then we have our image generation section. And as you see, like I said, I tried to use like an Assassin's Creed type of prompt. So let's go through the interface. At the top, this is where you're going to enter in your prompt. Now I've pre-selected a prompt that I often use for testing. Right under it, you have an option to select a fine-tuned model. So there's this Leonardo Creative, Select Signature, Standard Stable Diffusion 1.5, 2.1, and a custom model. Let's try one of these custom models. There's RPG, Deliberate 1.1, Dream Shaper. That looks interesting. Let's try this Dream Shaper one and we're gonna click on generate with this model. Right beside it is a Leonardo style. I guess it's their own style, sort of like Mid Journey, where they have their own model that was trained specifically in a certain way. There's also a negative prompt section here. So I'm just gonna bring in my usual negative prompt list. Prompt magic, it says, our new experimental render pipeline that might give more accurate outputs. Try it out and let us know what you think in the Discord. I'll leave it off for now to see if it makes any difference later. And then we can select our aspect ratios here. Let's go with 768 at 512. Now there's a little caution icon here. It says this model has been trained at 640 at 832. Okay, so let's use those specs. I like that the models are trained a little bigger. That's great. Right below there's aspect ratios, four by three, 69, one by one. I guess we can leave it for now. Guidance scale, we'll leave it seven. Step count, leave it 40. Tiling, we won't use that because that's mostly for textures and backgrounds. And as you see here, there's an image to image option, which is great. Advanced settings, you see that there is an area for seeds and the samplers, or they call it schedulers, LMS, Euler Ancestral, Euler Discrete, okay, DDIM, DPM Solver, PNDM as well. We'll leave it at Euler Discrete for now. That seems to be the default. Right beside it is Prompt Generation, which we'll look at in a second. Let's go ahead and click Generate. If you look at the top here, I think I started with a thousand tokens and it used four. Now, if you hover over this, it says remaining today. Let's take a look at the results and wow, I'm really impressed with the quality here. It's almost mid journey esque, but you can tell it's a trained model. Really nice. Take a look at the others. Wow. The details look great. Uh, the eyes could use some work, but that's normal. Very good details. Now, I don't know what this prompt magic is. I'm going to click on that. And just for curiosity's sake, let's generate the same prompt and see if the style changes. Maybe something else happens. I don't know. I'll definitely be making a follow up video on this once I get more familiar with this platform. So that took a little bit over a minute, I'd say a minute, 20 seconds, roughly. But yeah, if we look at the quality, yes, it did change the look somewhat. I'm really, really impressed with the details on this. It's uh, very, very good and accurate. Like the eyes on this one looks amazing. 
And it's almost got that 3D CG look, but yet slightly photorealistic, which I like personally. Let's try the Leonardo signature model. So I notice it went back to a one by one ratio. At the top here, it's 768 by 768. So that also took a little bit over a minute, which is fine. Let's take a look. Wow, yeah, it, it's got kind of a, a mid-journey-esque look. So this is their signature Leonardo model. There are different ones. Yeah, a bit more photorealistic. Definitely has a distinct style, but again, the details are amazing. Wow. Let's take a look at this prompt generation. It says here, this tool will allow you to come up with more complex prompt ideas from a simple prompt. Example, if you type in a car and click ideate, it will come up with a number of more complex concepts, which include a car. That's, that's pretty cool for those people that are not that familiar with prompting. So let's put in, I don't know, Tesla concept car. Personally, I like generating car images. Let's try another custom model. Let's choose deliberate 1.1. Oh, here we go. So the first one says a sleek futuristic Tesla concept car gliding through a cityscape of towering skyscrapers. And just below there's three other ones that we can try out. Let's generate it this way where it's just simple. Oh, I didn't change the aspect ratio. Maybe I can come back in here. Tesla concept car. And before I forget, let's change it 640 by 832. Oh, okay. So let's go 832 by 640. Okay. All right. Other than the aspect ratio that I forgot to change, very photorealistic. Yeah. Like look at the reflections. It's got that nice glossy reflective look. You've got some motion. Really nice. Really nice quality. So far, I'm pretty impressed to be super honest with you. I think Playground's got some competition and all the other ones, Blue Willow, Mid Journey. This looks very promising. So roughly takes about 80 seconds, I find, with these images and these ones too. Yeah, okay, not bad. These ones are a little less photorealistic but could be because of the prompt and the simplicity. I like the concept of this prompt generation. For those of you that are new to text to image AI, you could put your simple prompt in here and generate something really fun. Now, before we move on, let's look at the options here. So we have download image. We have an unzoom image beta. What is that? Oh, it may change the perspective of the image. We see it running here. Let's see what that does in the meantime. Oh, you can even remove the background. What the heck? Let's try it on this one. There's also upscale image, obviously. Edit in canvas, that's what we're gonna do. Image to image and your delete image option. So let's see what happens with these two here. There's a lot of stuff on this, man. Wow, they really thought this through. So it added sort of a border, um, unzoomed image, original image. Okay, still a pretty cool option to have. Let's see the background. Okay, this one's still generating. Now I'm sure the servers are flooded. That's why this one's taking forever. So I might have to come back to this here later or see if it renders in the background. Let's edit in Canvas. So this is their version of outpainting. And the way outpainting works is pretty simple. You have this selection box. Anything outside the image here, you should be able to generate an extension of the image with the same prompt. So I'm simply gonna type that in here. And if we click on this area here, this is where we can enter our negative prompt. I'm not too keen on it being there. I wish it was maybe underneath this, but whatever. Let's do the top of her head here. Now the proper way to do outpainting is to leave as much detail on this side as possible so that in this area it'll fill in based on your prompt. It'll also read the image so that it generates an image that is complementary to your image, right? Let's go ahead and click generate and see how long this takes. So the first option here, no, nope, we don't like that. This one a little better, but the color's off. I think because the model, it doesn't match. If you're gonna use the out painting, I think it's best to use the Stable Diffusion 1.5 or two, because it's not matching right now. So let's try that. 
I'm going to turn off the prompt magic and let's just generate four images at 512 by 512. Not bad for just regular stable diffusion 1.5. So let's take this image and bring it into the canvas. And let's try again. There we go. That matches the artwork a little better. That one matches. That one, no. So I'd pick three and then you just have to click on accept. Let's go one step further and let's try the bottom part here. I'm not going to do the whole image, but as you can see, it, it works pretty decently. But again, we're limited to stable diffusion 1.5 and 2.1. But wow, this platform has pretty much everything. Out painting, in painting, training, and the quality so far from what I've seen has been pretty spectacular, I would say. So it's added more details below here. Let's see what the other ones are. Oh, that looks really cool too. Yeah, I kind of like the this first one's okay, the second one. Yeah, but as you see, it works pretty well. If we're able to use some of the custom models or any of the models that you make, this is a game changer for sure. I think the platform models are the ones to go with. Let's try, let's try RPG 4.0. And I'm going to use my Dark Angel prompt that I often use here. And it looks like this model is trained at 640 by 832. Awesome. Wow, there we go. Okay, let's open these up. Very photorealistic. The skin's a little too smooth for me, but again, it's, it's probably the way the model's trained. But yeah, the details on these models are impressive. The eyes here are fantastic. This one I find is a little too perfect, but beautiful, beautiful results. Yeah, the details are just crazy here. Really, really impressive. I almost forgot. Here's the one we where we removed the background. As you see here, the background's no longer there. Let's put the original image back. So it's just black, obviously. And with no background, you see it's kind of gray now. To have a background remover as well, that's that's really good. So what do you think guys? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, this is very promising. My first impressions are almost all positive. I'm going to do a follow-up video in the next day or so to show you the train data set. Unfortunately, I don't have time to wait today as I've got other stuff I got to do. But my initial feeling is that if this platform can deliver on all these aspects, especially the outpainting, the ability to train your own models, that's huge. That's going to help with developing consistent character faces at least. And their own trained model gives you really good results. Now to try it for yourself, there is an early access button here. And you also need to join their Discord server. So basically you put in your email here, click on count me in. You're going to get an email from them. Then head over to their Discord server. You'll see an area here, introductions. You have to wait 10 minutes before you can post in here. After 10 minutes, just introduce yourself, say hello, what's up? And then you'll be able to access a form that you have to fill out so that you could be whitelisted and use the platform. There's definitely competition. Exciting times for us, that's for sure. Now, of course, if you're new to text to image generation, make sure to check out these videos. Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.